Hello, I'm Rob the Arts Teacher. I've just bought two sets of coloured pencils and I want to find out what they can do. I'm a great believer in testing art materials before I use them in a picture. So how do we test coloured pencils? Well, the best way is to do some shading and blending with them. Let's get started. I'll be using paper from an art pad. If you don't have an art pad, note paper is okay, although it's a bit thin. If you want something thicker, look around the home for shopping bags. Here's a couple of pieces of paper from paper shopping bags, and they're perfectly good for drawing and sketching. So we're going to start by doing some shading. And notice the way I'm holding my pencil. I'm holding it with my fingers on top, which means I get a low angle from the pencil. And what we're going to do is start building up layers. I want to see how the colors mix together and blend. Now the first thing I want to point out is how long my pencil strokes are. They're quite short, but they're not too short. If we hold our pencil this way, we often find that we do very, very, very short pencil strokes. The other danger that I see students uh, entering into is making very, very large pencil strokes, particularly when trying to shade a large area. Now these long pencil strokes are great for expressive drawing because you can get great energy and texture into the pencil stroke. But for blending, they're quite difficult. It's quite difficult to control the blending this way. So I suggest using shorter pencil strokes around two or three centimeters long or just over an inch and that way you have a little bit more control. The second thing I'd ask you to notice about my pencil strokes is that I'm actually blending by going in slightly different directions. I'm turning my pencil ever so slightly so in effect I get three angles. Overlaying each other like this. So let's choose another color that we can blend on top of that. I've started with brown and of course orange might blend in with brown and I'm going to see how it layers. So I'm going to take one of the yellows and test this and see how that looks. And now I'm going to look at the other yellow and compare that. This one seems brighter and softer. So now taking that one, I will take one of the reds and see if I take the red from the same set and see what happens now here. The red on top of the yellow, because the red is a stronger, darker color, it's going to require a much more delicate touch. So I'm actually using less pressure. And you can still see that this is quite streaky. So I'm going to take the yellow over the top again and start blending that. And I'm pushing a little bit more firmly with the yellow and blending that in. Let's see what the other red is like. Now simply because I'm drawing more with the side of the color here rather than the point, I'm getting less streakiness and getting a little bit more blending. I also think this one is slightly softer. Now I'll take the yellow and now I'm going to do a final layer where I'm pushing a little bit more firmly and I'm trying to push the colors together and soften them through the friction of the brush over the top and begin to blend those. Now let's think about a progression. Let's go from light to dark and maybe starting with a green and now moving from a warmish green through to a cooler green blue. Now here we're wanting to see how the color pencils work on a transition. So I'm wanting this color to be quite strong at one end and very pale at the other end because I'm going to lay some color over the top of it. Here's another green. It's not quite the same. This one is quite blunt and I'm going to sharpen this and get a longer, hmm, 
Doesn't do too much. You get a longer exposed part of the crayon, the colour pencil. Quite a similar colour. Notice that I'm making it lighter and lighter at the end where I want to blend the blues and darker greens in. Here's another green. This will need a little bit of... Let's see what this looks like. Remember I said at the beginning the angle of the pencil that I'm... as I mix the paper is really important. The steeper the angle, the more I will get lines. The flatter the angle, the more I'm going to get soft pencil strokes. And that soft pencil stroke, the lower angle enables us to blend more effectively. Remember too that I'm changing the angle of the pencil slightly so that the pencil strokes are blending in with each other. So there's a quick test. First of all, blending of different colours and then blending to get a transition to see what the pencils will, will do. And also while you're doing this, you're giving yourself a practice with your hand skills. If you want to see some of the best shading and blending with colour pencils on the planet, check out Australian artist CJ Hendry. I've put some links below. Look at her technique. She's getting great blends and shades with colours using the sharpened tip of her pencils. Mainly because she's using more expensive and much better quality colour pencils than in my test. It shows that you must always test your materials because your technique can vary depending on the quality of the materials you're using. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click like and share it. If you want to see more short videos with art tips, art projects and lesson ideas, please subscribe to my channel, Rob the Art Teacher.